Uh, I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck because my wife uh, talked with John and said, yeah, we'll share our story, and she's not here, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, my name is Greg Gammon. Uh, my wife and I are both and in the Greg is in the book, in two chapters of the book. <laughs> and Christy, your wife Christy. Christy, yes. Right. More Christy than me, but uh, we're uh, both in the real estate business. She's a real estate agent, uh, and I like to call myself uh, an investor. Um, that's kind of uh, tongue-in-cheek, I think, in some cases, especially in this real estate market. And um, what we've used the plan for over the last several years, we've had a policy, I think, for seven years now. Seven. You actually have how many policies? We have, we have four. Four total. policies. Uh, and you have five, right? Yep. And you have two. Okay. <laughs> you, you're, don't, don't worry. We'll give you time. We'll yeah. give you time. <laughs> um, over the, the next, uh, over the last several years, we've used it to finance our real estate business. Um, and, and a couple quick, real quick things uh, that I wanted to share. Um, like Pam said, our, our stories in the book, uh, chapter 7, chapter 11. But um, uh, a couple things there. I caught that too. Yeah. <laughs> Through 11, yeah, and those, those, aren't, those aren't bankruptcy uh, <laughs> chapters, they're, they're actual. Um, uh, we, uh, we, we've purchased some real estate, uh, we've used the money to, to improve the properties. The second story is uh, one that's a little more recent and I don't think it's really covered, although Christy talks about it in, in regard to the property that we'll sell. Um, we had an investment property in Delaware that uh, unfortunately went a little bit longer than what the, you know, the three or four months that we had hoped. Uh, it was two years actually. And um, uh, w when we interviewed for the book, we were in the process of uh, waiting for it to sell. Um, we had taken a policy loan to do some of the improvements on the property which is a very practical expense for the kind of business that we're in. And um, you know, as a result of that, that, taking that policy loan, we were pretty much depleted as far as our cash reserve. And that's obviously a little bit nerve wracking. Um, in August, before the home sell, sold, I got a call from my stepbrother. Uh, my stepbrother lives in North Carolina, incidentally the same uh, area that we were when we talked on the phone to, for the interview. And uh, he said, well, we're having a daughter, uh, a little girl in four days. Would you like to adopt it? Uh, adopt her? And I, Man, that's four days away. Absolutely. What, what do we need to do? And went through all the, the legal channels and things of that nature. Um, the one thing that we really didn't think about during that conversation of saying, yeah, sure, is the financial expense that goes along with adopting a child. And typically there's a several week, sometimes several month process, uh, legal and, and uh, other practical things that we have to prepare for. Well, we got to the hospital in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and they said, well, here are the fees uh, that you need to pay, and um, how are you going to settle that up? And I said, well, uh, gee, I'm not really sure. Uh, Christy, what do you think? Uh, well, let's call Rita. We called Rita. You have money in your account, let's, uh, in your policy. Um, fax a couple forms, you know, sign those out, we'll get those back to you, we'll get the money into your account. Um, I compare that to the prospect of uh, having to maybe call our mortgage company to see if we can get a home equity line of credit, uh, calling a credit card company to see if they can extend our credit line. All those kind of things um, were uh, very difficult, I think, to imagine. Uh, and the, the, the opportunity to adopt a little girl on such short notice would not have been possible in this particular case had we not had that money uh, in our banking system. There, so. By the way, there is one question that they will ask you when you take a policy loan. How much do you want? That's true. <laughs> I was uh, shocked to learn because of what I'd said before in terms of taking a policy loan to improve the property that we invested in, um, that we did actually have some money even though we had not paid that previous loan back. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, just a wonderful uh, benefit um, that really, I don't know what was really, if it was talked about in too much detail here, it was covered. And every time I looked at the screen, I said, yeah, that, we did that, yeah, that, that, that's, that's true. Um, and you don't really get that kind of information when you first hear about something. Um, it's always an encouragement to talk to somebody like John, and uh, he can attest that we've called several times in, in a panic saying, can you explain us this, uh, explain this to us and, and help us understand this? Uh, it, it's a wonderful program. Thanks.